Station and Mailbox uh, of April 2010 census. Now here uh, trying to make awareness, giving out uh, t-shirts and hats and just making sure everyone is aware today we count, fill it out, fill it back today. It's going real good. We've had a lot of people passing by. Haven't really had a few people stop by and tell a lot of people passing by. Just getting the word out. Okay, so uh, you come from the uh, Winthrop University in South Carolina. And what we'll brings you down here, Charlotte? Uh, we're just working. We uh, actually have a chapter of the uh, Association of Black Journalists. you coming down here making um, Charlotte citizens aware of the census because it's very it's very much needed so appreciate it hey I'm Mario Reed with um, Drivers Holiday at the CAABJ Charlotte Area Association of Black Journalists how are you thank you um, so you're out here making awareness of the census 2010 have you, uh, I did, and uh, I timed myself and only took me seven minutes to fill it out. So, you know, the commercials they say, oh, 10 questions, 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. It actually takes less than that, so uh, I think people will, people will realize how quick you can fill it out and just mail it back. Uh, it's very important that they fill it out because it's really good to use the money to do, uh, fill out Charlotte. So, uh, tell me about the CAABJ. We're the, uh, we're the Charlotte chapter of the National Association of Black Journalists, and uh, our members represent people who work in that TV and radio stations, newspapers, magazines, online media, um, just a lot of different uh, media outlets. And we uh, do events and meetings uh, every month, uh, some community events like this. We also hold workshops that are specific to our industry level to help our members get more trained or to have interviews with the community. We also have social events and we get together and network. So uh, it's a great organization and, and, and doing an event like this is just a time, chance for us to really do So um, when it comes to the census, why do you think it's hard for minorities to participate and fill out their forms? Uh, yeah, that, that's true unfortunately. Um, Traditionally, with the census, you know, the census is only taken once every 10 years. And so the last one was 2000. And uh, I went to a meeting last month that the census held at the Urban League. And they had a map that, uh, that had outlined several uh, areas in Charlotte, communities in Charlotte. They had a whole uh, Almost all of them are uh, predominantly minority. I think overall, uh, minorities maybe impoverished or less educated, so they may not be as aware as aware of the importance of the census. Some people don't trust that some people are uh, nervous about it. Well, it doesn't ask for really, personally, it asks for the name, the date of birth, the lives there, and it's important people to understand that the information is confidential. The census information is not shared with any other government agencies. So if I fill it out, only the census people. Oh, the IRS doesn't get it. FBI doesn't get it. The landlord, police, no one gets it. It's just for the census to provide, and then the census then provides the government with the number, not the name. The census provides the number that is saying there are this many people in Charlotte. Okay. There are this many people living on this street. There's many people living in this state. So what if I'm not a? Uh, what if I'm here, but? You could say um, illegally, or you could say I'm here on the internship, but I'm living here. Yeah. You could, I could still participate yeah. in the census. Yeah, the census actually asks, it, it, it has to clarify or inform who's considered a resident based on if they live there on April 1st. So it tells you that if you have a child who's a college student, 
And if they're not living there uh, throughout the year, don't count them on your form. They'll be counting on your own form if they're in college or wherever they're living. And if it breaks it down if people living away at the military or they're incarcerated, they count all those people. You know, best believe they can tell people at the county jail or at the state prison. Also, it affects the schools. In a lot of the minority, low minority schools, they have the, um, the their local school in Lincoln County. Exactly. Like the census, because once they know how many people live in a certain part of town, they can then say, okay, if we have 75,000 people living in East Charlotte or 150,000 people living in Northwest or whatever the part of town is, they can then say, based on that, allocate this amount of money for roads, this amount of money for schools. And really, they only do it once every 10 years. Um, so if you aren't counted then, in 10 years, your town, your part of town could be much larger or much smaller. So it's very important to get that information right now. And lastly, uh, one of the important things is, you know, uh, as far as a larger part of the community and, and the state, the census data determines the House of Representatives. So uh, the same way you have a local uh, state representative, uh, if you don't, if your population drops, you could lose a state representative. North Carolina gained one seat last census. This census, states like Texas may gain two or three. So it's, it's really important for them to know how they're looking Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I hope that you uh, filled out your census forms because it's very important. Thank you.